This is bread. It's homemade bread. This is a board. It's just a piece of wood. This is a bread board. And I put it together, well, I had a student put it together, but I got some LEDs and I got some resistors there. And it's soldered, see? This is solder. So this is a soldered breadboard. This is a solderless breadboard. And they're so nice. Like, they're so nice. Check this out. Sometimes I buy them big and slice them in half. You can't do that with, like, dogs and frogs and stuff. But solderless breadboards, you can get those on the internet, too. And you can slice them right in half and you'll have two of them! And they can be sometimes just as useful. Here's the thing, I often find students trying to set up circuits with, uh, for instance, a whole bunch of resistors, I guess because I told them to do it, and they might want to put them in series or parallel or something, and if they're trying to put resistors in parallel, they'll often come up with this kind of crazy thing. They'll be like making a rat king, look at this, out of, uh, out of wires, and they'll just have all these leads, and they're all connected in common. They're like, I'm going to connect this one to this one, and then this one to this other one. And then watch, they're just, oh man, they make a mess of things. Because it can't, these clippies can't grab two things at the same time. So you just get one for each clippy. And then you go, do, 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 right? And then you get this other one, and you put it in here. And this other, and you're already getting bored, right? And then they have to get this other one to connect all the other sides together. So they're like, okay, I'm in another Rat King, and it's black, and it's down there. See, see, it's all connected here. And so then these guys have to connect to all of those. Oh my gosh, and then they run current through the dang thing. Listen, this is nonsense. Let me show you how to use this solderless breadboard. And I'll take this big one right here. The first thing that you need to know is that you got your A, B, C, D, and E. And what you need to know is you got your numbered rows. And I don't know why it doesn't start at zero. It starts at like negative one or negative two or something. But let's just take some random row, like row five. What you need to know is this is just a piece of metal in row 5 that connects A, B, C, and D together. These are all connected together and they're all in common. And so if I push something into A5 and something else into B5, those guys will be in common. So if I want these all to have a common connection at that end, I will just come in here and shove them all into 5. Uh-huh, and can you guess what I'm gonna do after that? I'm thinking maybe I want them to be common at the other end too, like I'm making some monster parallel circuit. I will probably go over there and make them all in common in row, I don't know, what looks comfortable? 13? Doesn't even matter. Row 13 is common with itself, and row five is common with itself. So we could bring these guys over here. I'm not gonna use good form here. I'm just going over to row 13 and, and uh, making sure they're all plugged in. And then once these are all in, in my solderless breadboard, I can connect them all together and just say that they are in parallel. And I can take a voltmeter or a power supply with some clippies and I can clip onto one of the leads because that's the equivalent of clipping on to any of the leads. Just have to disassemble my Rat King here. All right. Oh boy, you should listen to that band too there. Good. So check this out. Check this out. I connect onto there on one side and I can need a red Rat King disassembled onto here. And then I've got, oh, that's not a very good connection. All right, we'll get a little bigger bite. And then I can connect onto there and then I can, uh, you know, run a current through these guys, what have you. But another thing to note Another strength of these guys is that you can also access these channels. There's a channel here that they call negative and a channel here that they call positive. And this negative is common all the way along. So you could make it your ground for your circuit. And the positive is common all the way along also. So you can make it the positive for your circuit. You know, plus five volts, whatever you want to do. And uh, you could take a wire from here and bring it over to there. Probably not a resistor, but maybe, I don't know, maybe you want a resistor to ground, you know, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, why are they nice? Why are solderless breadboards nice? Because a normal breadboard like this, I'm twisting stuff together, but in order to get a good circuit, to, to lower my resistance, for instance, I gotta solder all this stuff together, which is quite an investment. That's a bother. But if I'm trying to prototype a circuit, I would just push stuff in like this, and let's say I don't like this fifth resistor, whoa, the fifth resistor is gone. Then I've still got very low resistance. In fact, they're so cool that I just picked a couple of the books that I really respect at random, like an Arduino startup guide. Look, it's on the front of it. A breadboard. And how about Make Electronics? That's another nice book to get. Look what's on the front of it. A breadboard. They're both solderless breadboards and that's what it looks like if you're doing a good job. I brought in one final thing. I thought I did. 
Uh, there was a solid, oh yeah, this solid spreadboard right here. We were making up a little amplifying circuit. We could measure nano amps right there. That guy is bridging the gap between them. So I have eight pins on this little amplifier and I can hit them by putting other things in the common row. So this pin is at row 21, that pin's at row 20, and I can connect anything I want to the pins. And if the amplifier goes bad, I can pop it out. And if one of the wires needs to switch, I can move them really easily. So, solderless breadboards, super useful. Things to remember, everything in 20 is connected to itself. Everything in 38 is connected to itself. And you got a channel that's negative and a channel that's positive. That's it.